Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this clethra called 16 Candles. It's absolutely one of my favorite varieties of clethra. Let me tell you about clethra real quick. Clethra is native to the eastern United States, from Maine down to Florida and over to Texas. A big swath of space where we can grow this plant. It is hardy in zones 4 to 9. It prefers moist, acidic soil. Okay. I have the perfect place. So my, my yard's very acid and uh, the area I'm putting it in is very moist. It doesn't like clay soil all that much. And so uh, I will still mound it up a little bit in my yard. Uh, but this is a great choice. Uh, if you have a space in your yard that tends to stay wetter than other areas and you're worried about you know, whether or not the plant that you're, uh, you know, the plants that you're picking from will grow in that space. Because typically things, you know, like to dry out between rains and waterings. And this plant likes to stay more consistently wet. There are a lot of varieties of clethra. There are pink varieties, almost red varieties. Uh, 16 candles is white. Uh, it's one of my favorite varieties because it holds the flowers up big and tall. The, the branching on this plant's very, very vertical. It's a great ornamental shrub. They do try to sucker in the future and kind of colonize, but the suckers are pretty easy to cut off as long as you stay on top of it in the spring. So here it is in the ground, and you can see where it had these white bottle brush type flowers on it a little earlier in the summer. Usually they bloom in the late summer, but in a container they tend to bloom a little earlier. So this one's kind of bloomed out. Beautiful new foliage on it. These are pretty pest resistant and very uh, deer resistant. Some people call these summer sweet. There's another name for them. The area I've put this in uh, is a kind of a drainage swell through here. So it's going to stay moist. I did leave it up a little bit because despite the fact that they like uh, moist, uh, consistently moist conditions, uh, this clay unfortunately is uh, not necessarily its friend. So I, I do mount it up a little bit in my conditions. Uh, really super easy plant though. I've used these for years on landscape jobs. Great ornamental shrub. There are a lot of other varieties of these. There's one called Ruby Spice that's probably the most popular. It's a uh, pink, uh, really dark pink variety. These get beautiful uh, fall foliage, uh, yellow fall foliage on them. Work great in perennial borders as the backdrop to your other perennials. And so really, you know, if you're looking for a native that will take wet feet, any variety of clethra is going to be a good choice for you. Uh, I really do like these uh, a lot. In terms of sun or shade, this is kind of tricky. You're always going to see full sun or part shade on every tag. And it is true that the more sun you give it, the more of a compact habit it has, okay? But this plant will actually grow in quite a bit of shade and will actually bloom in the shade, but be a looser form. So keep that in mind. I'm telling you the 16 candles gets three to four feet high and you know four feet wide or something like that. It can get wider if you let it sucker, but um, you know, let's call it four by four. It's gonna stretch out beyond that in deeper shade, the spot that I've put it in. It's in the sun this morning. It'll be in the sun until about midday. That should be adequate to keep it reasonably compact, but it's not gonna get a lot of midday sun. So it is gonna stretch just a little bit on me. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is maintenance. And I love this plant because it is so low maintenance and it can all be done at one time. One of my, those are my favorite kind of plants. This plant blooms on new growth, so it can be pruned in the late winter and it can actually be rejuvenated. You can actually cut this thing very, very hard in the late winter if you need to and uh, it will respond very favorably. It will also sucker some at that time, uh, or, or that's a good time to be cleaning up the suckers. And if you cut it back hard, you're gonna create some new suckers. So keep that in mind. Uh, those can be chopped off with a shovel is typically how I go about doing it. And then it can be fertilized at the exact same time. So in the late winter, uh, you can prune it and you can prune it hard if you want to and uh, give it a, a shot of slow release fertilizer and you're kind of done for the season. Uh, really super low maintenance, uh, very, very showy, uh, fragrant flowered native shrub. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and also uh, hit the bell notification to be notified when I put up new videos. Thanks for watching.